Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Dr. Casey. Really pleased to be here today to present to you an overview of two upcoming construction projects, the combined Beulah Recreation Center and Administrative uh, Headquarters, which will be on the consent agenda this evening, and the new ve vehicle fueling site at CTC Hall, which will be under new business this evening. Next slide, Dave. Oh, you're good. Starting with Beulah, um, this is a really exciting project for us. We believe it's really going to help revitalize the surrounding neighborhoods. I'm pleased to report we received very good bids, all under our staff estimates and budget. Um, work on the facility will commence later this summer and will take approximately 18 months to complete. The park project will start in fiscal year 23, so it'll start a year later at that site. We're going to retain the 1938 original building and the recent gym and cafetorium additions, and we're planning to flip the entrance to the building, so the back will now be the front. So Beulah Road access will be closed, and that allows us to maximize use of the site and have more green space. The main entrance will be off Hopkins, and there'll be a secondary entrance off of Brookshire Drive, which you see to the right. We're going to remove two octagonal structures or pods that are there and a rear classroom module, which are in lesser condition or rougher condition than the, than the piece we're going to save and, and renovate. Next slide, Dave. Here you can see the overall floor plan for the facility. The rec center is on the left, offices on the right. The gym is going to be striped for basketball, pickleball, volleyball, indoor soccer, et cetera. All new energy efficient building systems are planned, as well as durable low maintenance finishes and materials. Very little interior rework is going to be necessary for the rec center side of it. Um, we will be able to serve large groups in the multi-purpose room. And there are dedicated spaces for therapeutic recreation, arts and crafts. There's a small stage there where we can have drama and music productions. Um, the office configurations will take a little bit more time, but ultimately they're going to allow us to reallocate or relocate 43 staff that are currently at the old Chester Library and some other locations to that area. And, and I think Parks and Rec staff is really excited to be embedded in the community. That's, that's the kind of thing they really enjoy. Next slide, please. The centerpiece of the neighborhood park, which is on that site, will be the first lighted cricket grounds in the, in the county. Um, this space has long been used for that purpose. Um, m many people don't know that, but it gets a lot of use from the cricket group. Um, but now it's going to be designed and constructed to better meet their needs. Um, we really, really, before it was just an open field that was big enough for cricket, which takes quite a bit of space. It's also going to accommodate two full-size soccer fields. And there's really going to be something for everyone. A courts complex, play areas for children, including those with special needs walking trails, lighted ball fields, picnicking. So it's going to be a nice neighborhood park. And all that will complement the rec center for um, after school and summer camps that will run there. Again, this is an exciting project. It really benefits the neighborhood, the citizens who will use it, and, and our staff is, is excited to be there. So it's kind of a win-win. Um, I can take any questions. Stuart Connick is also here if there's anything that I can't answer on that. And then I'll talk about Beulah quickly, or I'm sorry, CTC Hall. I think this is excellent. Let me just comment briefly. I, this is far more than I envisioned many years ago when I contemplated this site for that use. And so this is really a, a wonderful addition for the community and for the county in, in itself, and more important for seniors and youth, which will be a great addition to that programming. And so it's, this is a wonderful project. I'm just so pleased to see it come to fruition in 2022.